Hi everyone, uh, welcome to another design review for in our season of design reviews for version 13. This is supposedly a quick review. I never believe in this quick reviews theory about uh, control theory and systems modeling. All right, so what have we got here? Expanded. So it's a relatively, um, in some ways, small uh, and incremental update. So all of our control design functions up until now has supported something called the regulating controller. That tries to bring something into balance to a stationary point. So for instance, like maintaining a pendulum upright is one of those. Yes. Uh, there is a neighboring or near problem which is trying to follow a system that it tracks that is not necessarily zero, for instance, or it changes. That's called a tracking controller. Okay, so in other words, you, you're trying to have a duck bounce up and down in some thing or whatever. Yeah. And the goal is, can you keep things bouncing like the duck was supposed to bounce? Yes. As opposed to, can you keep something at... Um, uh, uh, so it has a path. So like a plane, as opposed to flying at a fixed altitude, it's supposed to be following some particular trajectory. Is that the idea? Yes. And we sort of typical examples see there for tracking is like a cruise control system for a car or path tracking for a robot. Those are. Why does, I mean, cruise control is mostly a fixed speed. Yeah, but it's typically not zero. And it's slightly subtle, but actually I think I can, so I'll teach you some intuition behind controllers here. Okay. So if you, let's say that you want to maintain some speed, 70 miles per hour. If you, uh, with a regulating controller, you know, it can, it needs to somehow integrate the error in order to drive that difference from what it achieves to what you would like to zero. Yep. yep. Okay. That means it needs to build basically this tracking problem that it wants to maintain, get that to zero. It's, it's like an integrator part. And that's that's what the that's effectively what the tracking problem does. It builds an augmented system that models the the, the signal that you want to track. This is complicated stuff. Yes, but it's a more it's a it's a moderate update. How do how, how is this tracking introduced? How do you specify it in the in the design here? You specify it with it's a key value in the first argument. If you go scroll a little up, you see that the detailed system specification, that table, little below below that area, and there is a tracked outputs. So usually you know, track... that that needs to refer to that variable we use in the input. Yeah, why? Yeah, I was Did talking you... about the design. Yeah. Yeah. It's just a documentation issue. Yeah. But the beginning here is basically trying to describe what those two problems oh, are. Oh, I see. This one here is the detailed thing, ASOC yes. there. Yes, yes. And then this, I, yeah, this is not quite the way we do it, but yeah, I understand. So these are the elements of the ASOC there. Yes. yes. Whoops, outpus is like an octopus, but it has a T missing there. Yes. Um, I don't understand this. I mean, what, what's, what type of thing do you set tracked outputs to be? Yeah, we explained that in the table even below. It's either the index in the case, yeah, the next table, yeah. It's the numbered output, or in the case of system model objects, it's the name of the variable. Okay. I just can't help very much with this. I, I don't I know. know enough. I mean, we'll get back. I mean, I'll, I think it's useful to, th this thing, now you stand a fighting chance to understand these problems. If you read the beginning there, 
I think yeah. so it's a significant upgrade to get, you know, to become learning pages. Um, Which should be still enhanced further, as we know. Exactly. I'm um, taking out from specific the, of these pages, but yeah. Yes, ahead. absolutely. Then the other side, apart from this, this completes the control picture. And we discovered this when we started to do a bunch of scenarios with what we released in 12.3. The other side, which we also discovered when we started to do control design with System Modeler as a modeling language, and because you can't do control design without a model, you always control a model. And so, was that these layouts? If you look here in the first one, that the 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 graph layout, basically inside of System Modeler for these diagrams, no. were pretty horrible. So those are now curated because we know in these scenarios how they're gonna be. The other enhancement that we also discovered is that it's rasterized because our graphics language didn't include some of the vector graphics language the system model had, like gradients, which it now does. And so now we've switched that over to use vector graphics for the icons. Good. So That's they look good. crisp and nice. Um, qu question, question. So, I mean, this whole framework, this reinforcement learning Etc. These are kind of the same story in the end, although in very different notations and formulations. Is that yeah. correct? Sort of. Um, so what we're getting to is a style of doing design, which is called optimal design, optimal control. Mm -hmm. um, and the, what reinforcement learning does is provide a good way of approximating those basically yeah and so yes they, they are the same but you know like control deals with minimizing costs um reinforcement learning deals with maximizing um um sort of what is it that you maximize again um fitness of some kind but i mean yeah i mean so they, there's a sort of flip notations but yes it is this it's, it's it's the same picture it's the same thing and we will get to that Next up for, for, for 13 one is, is, is another step along the way called model predictive control. Okay, but, but I have a question here. I mean, mm -hmm. the minimum use of this stuff, I mean, in other words, does this escape from engineering systems? Is there a, is there a use for this stuff? There are no examples here. There is, but there. it's apparently closed. If you look at cell bracket. I'm just trying to understand and think about wh where does this intersect with the rest of the system? Or is this, a, is this a tentacle? Or does this intersect with other things we're doing? It, it's sort of, so first of all, the system representations, the transfer functions and the state space models, they're also used by signal processing. They use the same backbone. Uh, you know, and those, you know, so, so all these filters that we do, for instance, they're transfer functions. Um, the, uh, it intersects in a variety of ways, and I think we'll, we'll find more. I mean, so but, one but, thing... Look, I mean, we have a, a whole ND solve, you know, PDE solving capability. It uses solve. that. This uses that. When you yeah. want to simulate and see how your system performs, you need ND solve. ND oh, solve. I know that. I know that. But I mean, for example, let's say PDEs. Yes. Is there any not, way of sort of gluing this into that to have it? It's, it's in principle, there is, it's very not much developed in either academically or practically to do control design for, for PDEs, for distribute, what we call distributed systems. Okay. So it's ODEs and DIEs that's the killer you know, and delay equations and, and so on. Why does that plus not work? Well, this was a, pro I mean, I don't know how. Uh, so once the system model functionality loads, it works. Uh, what do you mean when it loads? Well, but how do I know it isn't loaded? What do you, what do you mean when it loads? How do I load it? Uh, when you run any system model function. Okay, so mm -hmm. it's not good enough to have it just be dead here. You understand what I'm saying? 
this either has to cause it to load or send a message, or, you know, produce a message or some such other thing. Does that make sense? Can't just be dead. Fair? Right. Do I need to invent some UX? I mean, this thing could say, I, I think it should, maybe it should pop up something here that says, um, you know, load now or whatever else. Do you understand what I'm saying? Right. So if I click that, right, if I click it, rather than just being dead, which it isn't now, right, it should mm -hmm. say, the click should produce something here that says, capable oh, is not loaded, load now or something. Okay. Something like that. Right. So you can think of a better way to do it. Mm -hmm. Okay. So let's say... Why is that grayed out like that? What's it doing? Why is it gray like that? Yeah. Uh, so we, we have a fade in for when the model is too large. Uh, but that looks well, When did wrong. that happen? Uh, that's always been the case. <laughs> but it shouldn't fade this side. I don't understand. What is this? I don't understand. Is it a dot, dot, dot on this side? You understand what I'm asking? Is it, is uh -huh. it like this chain goes on much longer? Uh, in this particular case, I don't think so. But so why is this faded? What's going on? Uh, right, I think we have to correct the fading. Uh, so it's I a bug. That, I think it's a bug. I, I've never seen this before. Well, that looks like it's fade, faded on the right because it's not big enough somehow. Okay, how do I get... How do I how do I get something more out of this? Uh, well, so, so if can... I take that thing and I say, as we always do, why is this taking forever to paste it? What is it doing? What is this doing? What is it doing? It's just a freaking picture. Why is it taking forever to paste? Do, do you understand my question? Uh, right. Uh, why did that take a long time to paste? Well, it's a full graphic object. Uh, That's nonsense, 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 nonsense. There's something else going on here. I don't know what it is, but it's nothing to do with graphics. It takes no time at all to paste a graphic. It takes time. What is going on here? Is there something dynamic that remains dynamic? Did anybody from the front end team ever look at this? What is this? Does it doing a kernel round trip to paste it? Do you understand my question? Probably uh, does. Okay, you need to look at this. This is wrong. Okay, something is wrong here. Do I need to drill it even harder to find out what it is? Because this, right, is displaying this, right? How is it doing that? So, yeah, it's, it's a dynamic object that reaches out to find the model diagram and displays it. Okay, was it cached? Where yes. is it cached? What, what is it going to a different process to do that or what? Uh, right, yeah, it's, it's cached and uh, depending on the state of the button, it's, uh, it displays either the minimized or the expanded version. Sorry, I didn't get that. I didn't understand that. It's... Where is it cached? Where is the cache? I don't know if it uses a cache. I don't think it does. I think it's just nonsense. I think it's recomputing this every time. And that's why it's taking forever. And that's wrong. Also, you know, whatever this is doing, if, if there's something omitted here, it should, first of all, this is not the way we omit things. It's a dot, 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 or some such other thing. Second of all, it should say how much it's omitting. Third of all, this thing shouldn't be just completely dead. If this is such a dynamic thing, there should be a bunch of, uh, you know, some kind of, thing here that is allows you to ask for properties of this thing directly and, and interactively. You see what I'm saying? Right. So I, why don't we have that? I mean, given that it's taking forever to, what does that true mean there? What does true mean in the second argument of system model? Roger? I don't know. 
I think it means expanded, but I don't know. It's just... It's, seems to not be documented. So what's yeah. going on here? What's going on? Is this some hack of some kind? I think we use it for to, to track uh, uh, the state of the model, if I'm not... But what wrong. do you mean by the state? I think this is both a an input and a representation. I understand that. I understand. That's fine. Okay. But then what's that? But I think it's... What's that? Okay, that's something to go debug. Who's who's project managing here? Is it Addison? Yep, I just marked Take down a screenshot, screenshot, please, and um, send that in. Yep. Okay, look, there's a lot of beautiful stuff here, but for goodness sake, it's got to fit in better and not do crazy things like take... I mean, you must have seen that it took forever to paste things, right? You have seen that before, right? Right. Okay, so what did you think when you saw it? Uh... You have no idea why it takes so long to paste, or everything will take that long to paste. It shouldn't take any time to paste. It should take no time at all. Once it's already rendered here, every asset associated with it should be cached. Do you see what I'm saying? Okay. There's no reason that it should take any time at all. So, Roger, who can they talk to to get this straightened out? Who, yeah. who helped them? What's that? Um, so Malta, Malta built this, but the question is who, who could talk to sort of for setting up yeah, I would imagine okay. that that would be somebody in the front end team, Lou or somebody Lou designates. Right. Okay. I, I'm pretty sure this is just set up wrong, that the way this dynamic works is wrong. Yeah. Okay. I think that there's a round trip going, but it's, it's, it's one can. I know. Look. Even if there's a round trip, I, it I, I know. Be I know. On the client side. Fine. Okay. I know. Simple stuff. Simple stuff. And whatever this fade out, I mean, this this graphic looks beautiful. I don't know why we fade out. I've never seen that before. It's something very strange. Okay, all right. But now, why can't I click on the components here? I mean, they keep because on... it's never. We've never allowed clicking on components. Okay. And okay. what would you do? You would just get the graphics of it. There's no okay, drill down. Fine. There's no. Okay. There's no graphic. And, and why is no there graphic. a dot 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 here? Given that you've got a million miles of space. Because the. I don't know. Maybe okay, it looks like a bug to me. So let's get it fixed. <laughs> right? I'm guessing there's a fixed length at which that. Why? Does. Why? Yes, because I understand. Because it can that, occur but... small. I understand, but that's why we have a dynamic object here. It can trivially resize itself. Right? That's the whole point. This is a dynamic object that's taking forever to, to render. Mm -hmm. You can render it at the size it's at. Okay, in any case, what kind of thing does the Fluid Dynamics mod, uh, library, so how do I get to that library? How do I get to the Fluid Dynamics library, the documentation for it? Uh, on our documentation page. Which page? Reference.wolfram.com slash system modeler, right? I think it is. That's, that's system model. No, system modeler. No, no, that's not the right thing, right? Because yes, this it is. is. For all no, the no, library no. stuff, okay, it's not. Look, 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 look. Let me, let me point something out to you. Every other page. So this should have a link right there. If there's a sub. Well, do, yeah, do, we, do, we'll, we can do that. But it needs so to this, point to a whole also, world. Also, okay. So a whole world. Also, th wherever. there's too big a space here. Addison, that's for you. This is incorrectly formatted there. Got it. Right, I understand. But but what we do, if, if you look at, for example, let, let's say we go to import. Mm -hmm. Okay. I uh, know what the, we do, but but right. this is purely this is a whole separate product. Doesn't matter. So point to the website. We will. Okay, fine. And there's a whole world. Okay, but so so if I go there, so let, let's go. So I'm going on the web here mm -hmm. to Reference.orphan.com slash system model, right? I think so. Is there a dash in it? I don't know. Okay, there we go. Okay, so that's the that's the home 
root guide page mm -hmm. of System Modeler. Okay. Yes. So now I want to get to the fluid libraries. So not there. Um, so the question is if they've made it to this page or not. Because they were in the things that we are shipping today, it was experimentally supported. Right. By the way, I mean, th this could do with a facelift. Obviously, this is a, some generations old. Yeah. Like, these but that's the hydraulic library that you're in now. Okay, but fine. But, but what is this? How do I tell what this is? What do you mean? Well, I just don't, I mean, this, I'm kind of lost here. Maybe I should look at a liquid container. It has click to copy, which is nice, but I don't understand. There's no examples here. Yeah, there are linked to examples, used in examples too. Okay. Oof. This is this is fuzzy. Yeah, because that's the thing that's shipping. Right? That's not okay, fair enough. But that that so if I take that. What? Well, the hydraulic library was an extra library, right? That doesn't come with it. So then you need to get okay. the library. So, so then the click to copy shouldn't should do should say something about that, presumably. Um, the click to copy is supposed can we to have can a can the build system modify click to copy? It can put in dependencies, yes. Although that is a fairly new feature. Okay. Okay, fair point. But then we'll we'll use that feature then. Yeah, I yeah, think. right. Yeah. Um, so I'm not sure it's built. I, I need to bring up my own versions. I can check now. Okay. So, um, but it's in System Modeler the product. You know, there's an experimental support for it. And in 13... Okay, so why is that blue there? That's another bug. That was just a bug, right? Okay, magnificent. So then what I could do here, given that I have this, why is it taking so long? What is it doing? Okay, when it does that dot, 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 what is it doing? Can you explain, please? Uh, it's fetching all the graphic primitives and generating the graphic object. Okay. It shouldn't be taking that long. It's not that complicated a graphic. It shouldn't be taking that long. Something else is going on. Somebody is launching some weird external kernel or some such other thing. I mean, it, it is a separate kernel. It's a, it's I a know. Model. I know. But I'm just... But it wasn't launched. It was already there. That's what I thought. But I'm telling you, there's a bug. There's something wrong because it's not working at a reasonable speed for what it is. I mean, this is magnificent, what it's doing here. Not that I understand it, but it's magnificent. Um, how is this doing at, at getting working in the cloud? So it started to work. And we are working on some workflows. And one of the workflow issues that come up is that you often need additional files. So you need a notebook project, kind of the discussion we had with video. Mm -hmm. uh, but it is working with some limitations. But when you do publish, publish doesn't treat the dependencies right. Wait a minute, but something like this. So can I run this? And yes, that? yes, that, that would just work because there's no dependencies. You're not adding anything else. That's all built so in. So in other words, if I go to the public cloud. Yes. Right now. Yeah, it should work. And I go in there and I paste that in and I run it. Mm -hmm. dun, 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 drama. Okay. Have you guys, who, who thinks they're debugging this? Okay, that was very good that that worked. It would have been really good to have some kind of progress monitor there. Also, this is awfully small. Well, let's see what happens if I press that. Nothing. Wait a minute. Guys, who, who's actually looked at this from this team? Who's looked at this? Uh, I guess that would be Mal Malteami. <laughs> Okay, but so so have you tried it? Because I mean, this is obviously not very good. 
did so this is what you see in 12.3 so these are right. they all okay so the, so th that will work beautifully now right okay so if i say system model plot of that thing okay so where are the messages that should have come up so the there is a this currently uh that's very uh, nice well done guys Sorry, please go ahead. Right, there's currently a, a, a bug that we're fixing the progress. Okay, fine. But that was very good. Well done. I'm really happy to see that. When did that start working? The last release, which I can't remember the numbering scheme for the cloud anymore. Oh, you it's... mean the cloud 159? Okay, 159. The, um, that doesn't seem easy to remember, but it's not very easy to remember. Okay. Is it ever going to get to two? Uh, eventually, yes. And the definite triggers for it getting to two. I need to disappear to another live stream in a few minutes. But let me I think just we're good here, Stephen. I think I, I want to address a few of the thing, questions and comments that came okay, on the live stream. All right. Um, I mean, okay. Who is looking at like the cleanup of stuff like this on these speed issues? Are you doing that, Roger, or is somebody else doing we it? We are, but th this, this, this came in so late that we didn't really have a shot at it before this. Okay, so that's that's an issue there. When things come in super late, we cannot do that iteration too. Yeah, all right, fine. But but now it's time. Yes. Okay. Ethan is asking, why is there no robust reinforcement learning here yet? Not quite sure what that because means. Because it isn't there. <laughs> you mean it isn't done yet? Yes. Um, Calais is commenting, looks like a storeroom that nobody has looked into for a few years. That's unfortunately partly true. Um, those yeah, so what, we, what you're there. seeing is this slow. I mean, there's still, we're not putting a lot of resources into this yet, but we're putting some resources and what you see is, is a sort of a gradual refreshing of, you know, particularly the, the control side. And and but also the way system modeler interacts with the Wolfram language. Well, and right, and the most important thing there is making all this into entities. What is the progress? On Why that? is that important? Who cares about that? Okay, we talked about this for the last five years, Roger. But I still don't get it. Who okay, who cares about that? Okay, the whole point is we, we did that. Many... We did that several no, years ago. No, but, no, but I didn't. still don't get. No, you who didn't. cares about didn't. it. Where, where is okay? Where do I? Well, Malta type needs in? to be here. Okay. If we're going to have this discussion, okay, can't okay. have it without Malta. Okay, well, then we need to have that discussion. I mean, how do I type in a piece of natural language and get this? I have no idea. So, right, that's the point. You've got to be able to do that. So, Why? I say, that's an example. Okay, a component. I don't know. I want a, a dash pot, right? I want to pull up a dash pot. How do I this do it? Is there a dashboard? I am sure there is a dashboard somewhere as one of the components in System Modeler, but not here, right? Because uh, those have never been hooked up. We, we already have System Model entities. Uh, uh, I don't know if there is a dashboard, <laughs> but we definitely have. Okay, so, so, there, so if I say entity list and I say System Model. Yeah, mm -hmm. that was done many years ago. How can it have been done? It's not in the autocomplete here. Well, is that does that mean it's not done? I don't know, but it's not in the autocomplete. So some somewhere some lines got dropped. I mean, the fact I that it's taking a while is you're, you're going to get all the models. This is going to be a large output because you're going to get all the models. Well, that's fine. But why was it not in the autocomplete for entity list? That's a super bad sign because that means it's not integrated into lots and lots of subsystems. Sergio, can you talk to Malte what he did along those lines? And this we can looks crazy release notes. No, this is just garbage. Somebody just threw everything in here. This is garbage. No, no, this is just garbage. That's not what's supposed to be done. That's just garbage. Come on, guys. Contact information. Come on, guys. That's not what goes in. This is just somebody doing the thing that people do. It's like when, when the US Defense Department said all software should be written in ADA. And what did people do? They machine translated from the languages they were using into ADA and produced just garbage there. It's the same kind of thing. This is no good. 
come on, guys, let's actually do this properly so it actually works, so you can actually use it. Well, we have to kind of start that over then. But Sergio, can you start by talking to Malta and bring Malta right, yeah, into get, our get next a, meeting? Yeah, 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 get, a, get a conversation about integration. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. Let's 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 you know let's look this over. I still don't get the use case. Okay, you'll get it. You'll get it, and you'll realize that once we have this, I never like use this. entities. I mean, just okay, use well, them. Um, okay, that's because you're not dealing with real world things, I suppose. M, all day long. Well, I don't know. I can't comment on that. That's a large part of our system, so you're not using it. So I can't comment on that. Once these things are properly integrated into the system, people will use these as pieces of other things they're doing, like ND solve with one of these in the middle of it or something like that. All kinds of things like that will start to work, which they don't right now. And there will be a, quite a ways to make that work. I understand. I understand. But I mean, that that's maybe a more extreme case, even doing it, you know, using it with predict and classify and all that kind of stuff. That's easier. Not the components. Why would you? Yeah. Just, just. I think that's right. Yeah. Well. Um. Okay. Comments from Richard here about PD solving for deep learning, integrating numerical solver into the training process. Yes, yes, yes. That's a somewhat different direction is using machine learning for PDEs. This is something that we're working on, but that's a different different story from this. Yes. Um, Ethan was asking, will the system model stuff ever work in the cloud? And- It does. It does. Yes, video is not yet working in the cloud, Ethan. Yes, it is. No, not in this version. Is it? Yes. All right, let's see. Ethan has an example here. We'll just paste it in, see what happens. That doesn't look like it's working to me. What should well, I do here? Video to... format is not supported for playback. Ah, so it has a more limited set of formats. The the codex that it supports is more limited. Should it have a conversion mechanism? Thought that we had, I think maybe that was then then up for discussion. Yes, it should have, but it's that was being debated at in you know, but I thought that we came that that was already resolved. Well. We should resolve it. And I mean, if necessary, it should either have a button you press here to do the conversion or it should just start doing the conversion if it has to do that. For, to, uh, to, I agree. To I agree. A but it was so it. hard to get it to go in the first anything go in. So, but that, that needs to be there now for a second round. I see commenting that the reason they learned Wolfram language is because of the entity stuff. Good. I am, I am glad. I mean, this is garbage, Roger. This is embarrassing, this, that list. Yes, it is. I see that now, too, OK? Uh, As I said, I, you know, okay, whenever no I try to use entities, it doesn't know what I want to know. Just okay. doesn't fucking know. OK, well, whatever. Um, ah, Rich is commenting that the, the stuff he was mentioning is about passing reinforcement learning, passing gradients through the environment, et cetera. Yes. Um, all right. Well, okay. Anything else for this? No. Okay. Um, all right. Thanks very much. And Thank uh, for those who are following live streams, we are about to do a completely different live stream about um, uh, researchy type stuff. So.